Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now March 30th of 2024, and given that Bob Iger has been making all the wrong decisions across the board, whether it be Marvel, whether it be Lucasfilm, it doesn't matter. Anything related to Disney in general, Bob Iger continues to make one bad call after the other throughout all of this year so far that's already bleeding into 2025 with their upcoming expensive failures. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So there's been a lot of backlash happening as of late with Disney, not just related to the box office disasters of 2023. One of the latest ones, for example, being both the Marvels and Wish for quarter four of 2023, but we also have the Acolyte backlash that's stirring everything up with one of their other divisions, such as Lucasfilm. Now, focusing on their upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, and yes, it is officially going to be a reboot. Both Bob Iger and Bruckheimer confirmed this, all right? Jerry was very uh, forward about that that Pirate 6 is going to be a reboot. It is not going to be a sequel. It will not feature Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. As I like to say, no Johnny, no Pirates. Now, revolving around Joy Behar, who is now serving as the face of damage control when it comes to many of the upcoming Disney movies that are receiving endless backlash and or TV shows, this is where Disney basically begins to hit rock bottom, where you have someone like Behar defending the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, which, by the way, is going to fully embrace their DEI agenda to ridiculous levels that are really unneeded and unnecessary. Let's get into it. Now, with Bob Iger and the rest over at Disney in full panic mode after all the box office failures of 2023 and the looming expense of failures for 2025, one major development has much to do with Joy Behar and what she had to deliver after the recent backlash related to the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot that will carry Disney's DEI agenda and will officially exclude Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. Joy Behar went on to deliver the following to everyone. As one who fully supports Disney and everything what they do, and most importantly as a woman, I think Mr. Iger made the right choice with what he approved for their new Pirates of the Caribbean film. As someone who did watch the films, I think I saw all of them, there wasn't enough representation in those movies, and I think it's because those films are part of another era connected to the Walt Disney Company. I think this backlash is ridiculous and blown out of proportion. Just because you don't have Jack Sparrow doesn't doesn't mean you can't make a successful film. I mean, they are based on rides, of all things. I think some people need to get real and realize that, and I was talking about this with Whoopi, but Pirates with Johnny, of course, front and center, really created a missed opportunity to have a female as the lead, and I am so proud that this is what Disney is going for in their new film. I remember there were reports of all female-led Pirates movies and treatments being made by Disney, and I was just super ecstatic about that. And to to see it finally moving forward and borrowing elements from that with talented creators that Mr. Iger and Bruckheimer are beginning to hire is truly a much needed thing and process in this industry. Look, Johnny got fired and that was that. He was terminated and I don't know that should not stop Disney from making another Pirates film, so I don't see what the problem is with some people that this that think that this cannot work. I think diversity, equity, and inclusion is the most important thing in this world, at least within entertainment, and what better way to incorporate that into a new Pirates film? I think people need to remember that even the past Pirates movies, they didn't really rely on, of course, Johnny or Jack Sparrow, but it was the entire cast. They could have easily worked without him. This is something that was just absent from the past Pirates films, and I think that's where Disney at that time, it was in a different era, how they missed so many pointers that could have been executed on film, you know? Like, of course, there was a level of diversity and equality in there, but it just wasn't enough, so I'm proud that women are getting a chance to receive the limelight now. And what is this, of course, Pirates 6? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I heard it's a reboot. So, who knows what's what these days in this industry, whether or not Mr. Depp will return at last minute. I just believe this entire plan by Mr. Iger and Bruckheimer 
and what they are doing over at Disney is going to resurrect this series or these series of films that really needed to expand to different people with different backgrounds and it's going to be a groundbreaking experience from what I heard for DEI in film as big as the Pirates movie. Now guys let me stop here for one moment. Now again this is where you have someone like Bob Iger using Joy Behar to become the new face of Damage Control to really kind of defend everything that has been failing for the Walt Disney Company. You got people like Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, the hosts of the Good Morning America show, Jimmy Kimmel of Jimmy Kimmel Live, endlessly doing things just like this. And it's not a big shocker. There's also been a lot of drama happening with Jimmy Kimmel. We've talked about this a couple of times on and off with Deadpool 3. We'll talk more about that in the coming days. But interestingly enough, Joy Behar knows nothing about Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's very apparent. It couldn't be clearer at this point that she knows nothing about the series. These movies do not work without Captain Jack Sparrow. These movies do not exist without Johnny Depp. They are basically successful because of him and because of the essence, because of the spirit of Captain Jack Sparrow. And Bob Iger talked about this a couple of days ago, that they are looking to replace Jack Sparrow with a new character, female-driven, that will hold the same essence and the same spirit as the character, borrowing basically elements of that character. So I don't know if they're going to come in with a female replacement that's going to act like Jack Sparrow, where it's going to have that drunken attitude in nature, you know what I'm saying? So that's basically what they're shooting for in Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Again, if you even want to call it Pirates 6, let's just call it Pirates of the Caribbean. But this is going to be a disaster. We all know it. They know it. I don't know why they're moving forward with this. Well, we do know why. They want to double down on their agenda to really kind of force it down into the general public. Now, moving onward, she goes on to conclude, I have full faith in Bob. I may disagree with him on many things, arguably, but this move is very much needed right now in the industry. Some fans just like to be loud and opinionated to garner attention for sure, and it's nothing more than that. Films aren't for fans, but they are for creators to share their vision and art with new and returning fans, and it's inspiring. So, again, I mean... <laughs> This is the same exact thing that Kathleen Kennedy also spews, that Leslie Headland has talked about. This, this, and that are not for fans, right? It's all about the creators, it's all about the artists. Well, yeah, sure, to a degree, but at the same exact time, you have to respect the people that follow your art, the people that follow what you're creating. And especially if it's already a grounded or an already existing franchise or something that is so embedded in pop culture, you have to respect the fans. You just have to. That's how it has to be. That's why I think Pirates of the Caribbean 6, it's not going to work. It's going to be a failure. They're already in the process of getting... I believe Ayo Edebiri to be the main lead. Uh, we talked about that several days ago. And other members of the cast that really want nothing to do or know nothing about the Pirates of the Caribbean films. So, overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.